What's good, waivers? So, I'm coming to you today because I've been getting a lot of requests for people wanting to know um, what I put in my whipped wave butter um, and the ingredients I put into my pomades. Um, and it's no secret, people. Everything that's in my butter and in the pomades is the same stuff that I used when I showed you guys what I got um, in my self-cut video, um, I just used a different mixture and variety of the ingredients from there, but since I've been getting a lot of requests for that stuff, I'm gonna go ahead, let you guys know, um, what I put into each one and how I did it, so let's get started. So, first off, um, for my whipped wave butter, I recorded it, but I just haven't had the time to edit it and um, show you guys, you know, what goes into it. But I have the footage. Um, I am done editing it for you guys. So check it out. This is the ingredients and how I made my whipped wave butter. Check it out. Okay, for this mix, I used hemp seed butter, soy butter, Shea butter, mango butter, I don't know if you guys can see that, and sweet almond butter. Um, I wanted this mix to be a little thicker, so I used more, more butters than I did oils, but I still used oils. I used coconut oil, olive oil jojoba oil, safflower oil, grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil, and sweet almond oil. Um, and for the oils, I used um, a half a teaspoon only. And these are, you know, the spoons that I use to dig out the butters and everything because you don't want to cross-contaminate. Um, and after I used all of those, I used a hand mixer, mixed it all up for about five minutes, and this is what I got. And it looks like, looks like, you know, uh, frosting. Um because I wanted that whipped light feel didn't want anything too heavy um, that's why I used more butters than oils but if you wanted it a little bit more thin more liquid uh, you could use more oils it's whatever but this is what it looks like it's real light real light um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, whip it more with my blender for about another 10 minutes um, just to get it nice and smooth and when it's done I'll come back and show you guys what's up alright okay so I'm done whipping the mixture I um, blended it for about an extra 10 minutes and this is what it looks like it's real light real fluffy it melts away really easy. Doesn't have a greasy feel to it. Um, feels really good. This is an old coconut oil container. People keep your containers, especially if you're making stuff like this. Um, and I got it and washed it out. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. If you can see it's real real light, real fluffy. All right, so you got that down. Um, next is my pomade, what I did and what I used in that. So let's get started on that. I used a tablespoon of coconut oil, a half a tablespoon of sweet almond butter, two tablespoons of hemp seed butter, 
three tablespoons of soy butter, one tablespoon of safflower oil, a tablespoon of hemp seed oil, two tablespoons of jojoba oil, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of almond oil, and a small amount of beeswax. I've heard a lot of people talking about beeswax, especially the dreadheads out there, um, saying it's bad for your hair or not bad for your hair, it just sticks to your hair and it doesn't come out. But um, I think that all depends on the amount of the beeswax that you put in your hair. Um, and in my pomade, it's a small amount and it's just mainly for hold um just to hold the hair down yeah it's not much in there it goes in easy comes out easy um right along with every natural product i mean it washes out easy it goes in real good doesn't cake up now if you put a hell of it in there if you put a hell of beeswax in there that's a different story but i use it mainly for the sole purpose of um, just to give my hair a little bit of a hold um but Beeswax is hard to work with, so I'm going to go and try and experiment with soy wax instead of beeswax to see what the difference is. Um, but, like I said, all these ingredients, all these butters, all these oils that I've used, um, I've showed you guys where I got them from. Once again, I ordered all of this stuff from New Directions Aromatics. You can look them up, newdirectionaromatics.com. Um, they're fairly cheap, wholesale prices. You get hella stuff for the dirt, pretty much. So you should check them out. Um, but if you ain't got the funds, you can still do some of this stuff with what you have at home. I know a lot of you guys have unrefined shea butter. I know you guys have extra virgin olive oil sitting around the house um, so if you don't have all the ingredients to go ahead and do the whipped butter you don't need all those ingredients sometimes I mean just use what you have you know you can still whip up some shea butter put some extra virgin extra virgin olive oil in there um, and you have whipped butter I mean it's just that simple one thing I did forget to mention is um, in the pomades and in the whipped butter I also have essential oils uh, that I use I have I think like four different ones um, I can't remember which ones they are that I use for each one but I hope this helps you guys out like I said I've been getting a lot of requests for the ingredients of each one and uh, what not so hopefully you know you guys can do something with it um, and if you guys do end up making something do a video request let me see you know what you're doing because you might give me ideas as well I'm just going off of a whim um, just because I'm in the natural phases of um, ingredients for my hair um, so I'm trying to find that perfect recipe um because i'm still working on it i mean granted i use the stuff that i make because i don't like wasting my money i do really like the whipped weight butter right now that's in the running it's my favorite so yeah if you guys um you know do come up with some recipe do a video response and let me see what you're doing and how you do it and whatnot and we can share tips and recipes and all that good stuff but um, I have noticed that once I've, I've switched over to the natural products, my wave game has gone up by, like, 10. Seriously, and I'm not just saying that. Like, you know, I've, I've just noticed a big difference because, um, you know, the, the stuff that I used to buy at the store, it worked. Don't get me wrong. All of that stuff works. It worked, but, um, it just left a buildup in my hair, um, hard to wash out, made my scalp hella itchy things like that that I just wasn't down for other than that this is sneak pink and I'm out